Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, Round Eyes back here with another video, a how to video with the GTX gaming server, uh, DayZ. Uh, today we'll be installing the Trader mod and setting that up. Uh, and we'll also be installing the Banking mod, uh, show you how to place some ATMs. And we will. We'll Briefly go over custom areas and placing custom areas, getting loot to spawn in those areas. Okay, so here we are. Uh, we're back with the hot dog water server that we started in the last video. Uh, basically, we went through how to set it up from scratch, how to get it running with Cherno, how to get it running with a modded map, and we set up the Zombre admin tools. Um, so here we are. We're at our desktop. First off, we're going to go to uh, Steam Workshop, and we are going to find the Trader mod. And here it is right here by Dr. Jones. Uh, we'll go ahead and install that. There's a couple mods you're going to need for this. You'll need the, the Trader, you'll need the Banking, and you'll need one other mod here I'll show you shortly. This is finished. Looks like this one's finishing up. Now I know in the last video we had left off, uh, it was running the Takistan map. Uh, I went ahead and just switched it back to uh, Chinaris to set up the traders because it's easier that way just to show you guys. Okay, so we got the trader installed. Let's find the banking mod. Banking. All right, right here by Deadcraft. We'll go ahead and install that. Me personally, I, I enjoy using the advanced banking. That's what I use. Um, Gives you the option to give your players a paycheck every hour, or however long you want to set it up for, how much you want the paycheck to be. It kind of gives players an uh, incentive to play on your server. They're making money not even doing anything. Um, also, they have in there, too, where you can rob the ATMs. Um, certain times an event will happen where they say, oh, such and such ATM has a lot of money. It can be robbed, so forth and so on. Um, I don't do that. Uh, on my servers, but uh, it is an option. Um, you can also set it up too to where you gotta have a debit card to access the ATM. Totally up to you on that one. Um, th this regular banking mod that we're installing um, doesn't ha really have any of that. It's just your basic ATM, store money, so you don't have to carry around all that cash on you. like that one was installed as well now you will need one more thing um, might not necessarily need it for the, the traders but uh, you will need it for the second thing we are working on in this video uh, it's called builder items just type in builder and as you can see right here builder items by Nana banana I already have it installed on this server so we're just gonna go ahead and continue on uh, if you don't have it you will need that um, for future so let's go back here I don't want to do that I want to see installed so we have the banking the trader the builder items like I said and then these are all the ones that we installed in the last video so before we get started I want to go ahead and make a change here that I should have did 
prior. Give me a second here, guys. I had to take some things back to vanilla. I started making this video earlier and had messed it up, so I restarted. So I had to make that back to vanilla settings. Okay, so we got the trader installed. What you'll do is you'll go to File Manager. You'll see the mod right here, Trader, at Trader. Go ahead and double-click it. You'll see Server Profiles. Go ahead and double-click that. And you'll see a folder named Trader. You want to go ahead and drag that to your SC folder. We'll go ahead and copy. Ah, shoot it. Like I said, I forgot I already did this. So let me go ahead and delete this out. We'll start fresh. Okay, so back here to the Trader mod. Server profile, Trader. Oh, I didn't want to click that. So we'll just drag this down to our SC. Copy. Now we'll go ahead and go to our SC. We'll click the right thing. And you'll see we got a trader folder here. Okay, so basically if you have an admin, you want to go to the admin text there. Just put the Steam ID right here. Um, you don't need all these. If you only have one admin, you can just delete these. Or if you have multiple admins, you just keep stacking them down. Um, so we'll just go ahead. and We don't actually don't even need an admin for this video. So we'll just delete all the admins. Save. Uh, Trader config is where you will change any pricing, add items, things like that. Um, I think we will add a custom vehicle here to show you how. Uh, basically... Uh, the star comma is just means it's a single item. Uh, this first price here is the buy price. The second price is the sell price. So if you want to not be able for your players to buy anything, you want to press 1. That means basically if they walk up, this mushroom here is not buyable, but you can sell it for a dollar. Or maybe you just want to make it where you can buy it for a dollar, but you can't sell it. You just make that a minus whatever, minus one. Now let's see here if I could find something that doesn't have star value, which I don't think we're going to in the vanilla. Um, M. So, okay, this is for M is for a magazine. Um, so it'll come fully stocked. Uh, uh, w is for a weapon. trying to see if I have anything to show you for an example let's say we wanted to where's the ammo at okay you see how this is all one this is going to give you one shell of 380 for one dollar if you were to change this let's say we wanted to give them 10 shells for 10 bucks but you can't sell them so that's how you would set that up um, let's just say you can sell them by the 10. So let's say you can't buy them minus one means you can't buy the shells, but you can sell them for 10 bucks. So basically you're selling here. You would be selling 10 shells for 10 bucks and so forth. You could change this to whatever you, whatever you want to do. Uh, this number here is just basically sit, you want to to sell five nine by 39 shells at a shot for five bucks or they can sell them for three bucks and so forth what I do personally is I have a whole line of just buy the single shell then I have a whole another line basically let's say I take this down here copy and I just put it below it 
V. So we just put ammunition by tens. And basically you would just change all this out. Here to 10. So now <clears throat> this is uh, single single bullets. Um, let me try to change that back. Okay, so here you'd be buying ammunition by the single. See all these are one. Here you would be buying that same ammunition by stacks of 10. And these are all 10s. And you could just do this the rest of the, however you want to set it up really. Um, you could do another another batch here. Control V. Let's say this is by 25. So you're buying 25 shells at a time, which at that point you might as well buy a, a box. Um, and you see a box has the star because that just comes a full box. So there's no need to do any of this. Um, you would just say make these by five ammunition by five so here you're buying five shells each time <clears throat> so that's how you set that up um we'll just kind of leave that like this for this video so then once you finish you just hit save and good to go uh your trader objects here or where your traders are um this trader marker safe zone is is your trader a safe zone this is 80 meters surrounding this trader these coordinates here um, each trader here so basically have zero one two three four five you'll see in the next file how that's laid out but um, basically this to position um, to where it'll register so when you walk up and hit F to trade that will be this coordinate which is usually the same as the coordinate of where the actual trader is standing so if you look this is 3699 by 27 that's 369 by 27 so they're usually the same um, this is just where it'll access the F button to, to to trade and this is your actual trader that's standing there the orientation is the way he's facing uh, this one's set to point or minus 13 uh, that's probably the way that he needs to be facing to look right uh, and down here you'll have just objects uh, you'll have a fuel pump so forth uh, barrel holes for a fire barrel road cones that's usually where your cars are going to spawn all that stuff so um, we'll just leave all this stuff here go for now and then trader vehicles whenever you uh, set up a trader your vehicle trader uh, this is telling when you buy a vehicle what it should come with. So basically spark plug, radiator, headlights, uh, doors, wheels, that kind of stuff. So when you buy a car, it should be good to go with all this stuff on it. Um, so yeah, it's pretty pretty self-explanatory, but you got to make sure you have the center. If you don't have for said vehicle, when you buy that vehicle, it'll just spawn with no doors, no door, uh, no wheels, no gas, no nothing. So then the player would have to buy a radiator, buy all the wheels separately, that kind of thing. Alright, so we got Trader installed. Let's go ahead and start the server. We'll go check out, make sure all the traders are there, that everything is working. <coughs> um, I'll also show you how to place an ATM. Um, I, I do have all the... the standard placement for the ATMs that I will include in the description if you wanted to just use them and be done with it but I will show you how you can place an ATM wherever you want and now we'll just wait for the server to start alright and it's green so it looks like it's running Go ahead and exit out of that. Okay, we'll pull up our launcher. And we got the old hot dog water. Now you see these mods aren't set up like that, so I'm going to need to keep restarting it until I think the 
builder items was the last thing we added, or the trader, I can't remember. Actually, it was banking. Sometimes it takes a minute to... There we go. So the last mod that we installed was the banking. Before that was the trader, builder items, etc. I had still installed the builder items before we had started, so... Uh, the last two that we just installed is the banking and the trader. So you want to make sure those are on here or you'll get a PBO when you try to join. We'll go ahead and hit play. shoot no, it's not going to do a full screen either I hate when that happens it does that every now and then I'll have to go into the settings and make it full screen again pain in the butt all right so we're loading in here I'll make this full screen as soon as we get in I'm gonna make a video too showing you guys how to make a custom loading screen too they're pretty simple to do I think what I'll up, I'll do is I'll uh, upload a sample to the workshop and you can just kind of go in through and edit the uh, photo which you want to use uh, for a loading screen uh, it can be done with Photoshop it can be done with other programs too but I'm just familiar with Photoshop the most so that's what I use okay so we're in here let me make this full screen first off. Oh wow, I can't even... Uh oh, something's all messed up here. Options... Oof, I've never had it this bad. So video... Let's do full screen, see what that does. Apply... Okay. So we're in here. Looks like our trader's here. I was already at Green Mountain prior, so. Uh, you got your vehicle trader over here. Let's try to access him. He's working. Got all these vehicles for sale. Get the stupid compass away. Okay. trader ammo all that good stuff let's go check out the second trader make sure he's there Done in, uh, not sure how to pronounce that town I just call it cummy so we'll go down to cummy here and make sure that uh, everything's working Over here spawn down yep this traders here as well everything looks good Access them, you know. Your, uh, weapons and ammo trader. Looks good. So there's your basic trader setup. Um, now I'll go through and show you how to add the, the ATMs and the custom areas. There is another method that I sometimes use. I'll just go ahead and show you that too, in case you don't like the placement of the, the ATMs that I provide. Um, so what we'll do here, go, say we want to put the ATM right here up against this building. We'll go through here, spawn in a barrel, let's say blue barrel. Ooh, that's a little too close, but you'll get the drift. Uh, so we'll spawn in that barrel, we'll move that barrel out of the way. And we'll come back here to our server. Go to file manager. Now we spawned that in using the Zomberry admin menu. So what we'll do is we'll go to your SC. 
go over here to Zomberry. Uh, it's usually your last file. Just look at the time and make sure this is the one that uh, it's recording to right now. Now, as you can see down here, Sir Round Eyes spawned a barrel at these coordinates. Okay. So what you could do is copy these coordinates. And you could go to your trader file. Um, trader objects. Now let's say we gotta find the cummy trader. Okay, cummy trader right here. So we would hmm. I guess they don't really have it split up for that. Cummy right here, okay. Okay, they do have it set up, so okay, so what we can do is you can either copy this and add on down here, or yeah, if you don't want the fire barrel, which I usually don't use the fire barrels, so I would just place this with my coordinates from that barrel that I placed. And then what you'd have to do is go and get the name of the ATM. So what we'll do is we'll just save that for now. Save and exit. I'm going to go down here to installed. We'll look at the banking mod. Now down here they provide. Oh, okay, that's nice. They give you the coordinates right here too, so that works out. But uh, yeah, let's just do it that way. I think that would be easier actually. Yeah, let's do it that way. Okay, so what you can do is you come to the... Well, we'll do it the way I was already started first. So we'll just pick the ATM you want. Uh, you just need to get the name. Copy. Go back to our server. Back to our SC. Trader. Objects. Now all the way at the bottom here is this barrel that we changed. So now what we want to do is change this name, control V, to DC Banking. We're going to put an orange one there. Now the hardest part doing it this way is getting the orientation. Um, that's usually the hardest part. But I think what we'll do here for, for sakes purposes is we're going to copy this whole thing here. Copy. paste now I think we're going to use what they supplied us with here so um, where the heck was it right here so Kruma ATM 1 ATM 2 so I think what we'll do here is we will first off copy this name copy we'll go ahead and put it here control V now we want to change these positions, and it looks like they give us the positions right here. Copy. It doesn't look like these, however, have commas, so you will have to add a comma. So control V, comma, and then another comma right there, okay? Now for your orientation, it looks like it's 325. So we'll just go with this first one here. There's probably multiple places that put the ATM, but so we'll just go with this 325. Copy. We'll put that down here in our orientation. So what's going to happen is there's going to be two ATMs at uh, Kami Trader. So this is the one we did with the barrel, the orange one, which is it might not be facing straight. You'd have to get this uh, orientation, which you can do with the compass and stuff. Um, and then the second one will just be a standard ATM uh, placed where they recommended it. So we'll go ahead and save that. There's also other ways to uh, add an ATM too, which I'll show you. Okay, so that's saved. So now... While we're here, I just want to go ahead and show you. 
So well, I better heal myself in time. All right. So next, I'm going to show you about custom areas. So we're going to go up here to the northeast airfield. Uh, spawn here. I just want to show you. There's nothing here. This place is bare. Okay. Nothing here. So now let's quit out of the game. Boy, that's all funky. Okay, so we'll go ahead and stop the server. We'll go to File Manager. Now, first thing you want to do to add any kind of custom areas to your server is go to into MP Missions. We're running Shinar, so we'll just go in there. Now, here you'd want to create a new folder. And we'll call it Custom Locations. All one word, capital L, capital C. Create. Okay. So now, when you... Let's say you were on the Steam Workshop, you saw a custom area that you wanted to use. Um, so what you do is you would open that mod up and basically you would see this right here. Just a bunch of spawn object with a bunch of buildings, that kind of stuff. So what you want to do is go all the way to the bottom. Make sure this little symbol here is at the very bottom to close it out after all your, your custom buildings here. Now at the top, it may or may not come set up like this, but this is how you'll have to set it up. You'll have to put an open, because the bottom one was facing the other way to close out the file. And then you would want to make it say void. And in this case, I named it airfield2. And put these two little things there afterwards. This is exactly how you'd want it set up. Okay. The best bet is to, to bring that file to your notepad plus uh, plus, set it up like I have here. You got to watch this spelling right here and make sure that's how you want it because you'll be using this name elsewhere. So we have that set as airfield two, and then you would come here and go to save as. Now you'd want to name this airfield two. Dot C, okay, and you would hit save. I'm not going to do that. I already have it saved. Uh, but you would hit save. Okay. So then, you go back to your server here. You go into your custom locations. And you would upload. Let's see. That Airfield 2 file that we just created. So boom. Done. Now you'll see that is here. Under your custom locations. And you'll see it's all here. We got that bottom bracket closing it out, the top bracket opening it, and the name. Okay. So that's basically putting your custom area in there. Now you got to tell the game to read that custom area. So you would go to your init that C file, which I'm going to include uh, a link to my GitHub. I have a uh, uh, already made init C and an already made uh, custom locations uh, folder. Okay, so let me minimize this for a second and pull up my sample one. All right, so init C, here we go. You can just use this whole init C that I provide, or you can just cut parts out like I'm going to here to show you. So first of all, Kind of hard to see all this stuff, but um, wherever this you want to take this void main, this is what's going to spawn your buildings in right here. And you'd want to go all the way down to end custom map edits. Okay. You'd want to copy this. You'd want to take all this from the init weather. All the way up delete control V okay 
So now, this is how it should look when it's set up. Um, now this here is including MP missions, Daisy Offline, Shinar's custom locations, which is the file we created, and then there's the airfield2.c that we had uh, created. Okay, so you'd want that there. And then down here, after void main, it would start custom edit, edX, insert call, airfield2. Now let's say we had more than one area. What, we, what I like to do is I'll just copy this line. Copy. And go right below it. And whatever you named your, your other folder in the custom locations, you would just change this. Just say, uh, I don't know. Server info or something. I don't know. So whatever you would name your file that's in your custom locations, okay? So then you'd want to come down here and do the same thing. So uh, server info. Now you want to make sure these are all spelled the same. This here, this here, and what's in your custom locations folder. So you just boom, 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 okay? Now that's set up. Now we don't have another file in the custom locations folder, so we're just going to delete this for now. But that's how you just keep going, adding more than one multiple uh, custom area. Now also, in my init C that I provide, you will see this line here. Get C E A P I. Okay. You're going to want to copy this out if you're not using my whole init. So you'd want to copy that out, and you would come down here. Uh, to this section here to there's three closeout bars and you want to go in between these last two and paste this right here okay now this is going to tell the game to do a scan to find buildings that's not spawning loot that should be spawning loot um, so what we'll want to do is we'll want to uncheck that off see how it lit up now so that's effect in effect so that we'll find uh, locations that it can spawn loot to. So we'll go ahead and save that. And we'll go ahead and start the server. Start. Now this step here is going to take a minute because it has to read. Uh, it, it reads the whole map and finds buildings that, uh, like I said, could spawn loot that are not. And it'll give you a... It'll produce a file, which I'll show you here in a second. This is how you add uh, loot to any building that you place on the map or anything like that. <coughs> but it does take a minute, so um, it has to read through all those buildings, so understandable. Um, so let's go ahead and wait for this to do its thing. It's running now. Sometimes, like I said, it takes a minute, but that'll produce a file in your, you'd want to go to MP missions, uh, the map you're running, which is Chinar's. Now in this storage folder here, it will create an export folder, which you didn't have before. You go ahead and double click that. Now this one was produced at 206 so this is an old one for me like I said it's gonna take a little while uh, probably up five minutes or so to actually go through it'll read all those buildings and produce a new folder here which for me this is still an older older foil uh, file so we'll give it a minute go ahead and refresh just keep checking back MP missions Chinaris storage export Okay, so this is 310. So this is uh, this is what time it is now here, 310. So this is just created. Uh, it's still zero bytes, so it's still uh, writing into that file. So we'll give it another minute. Go ahead and refresh again. MP missions. Daisy offline. Storage. Export. Okay, so now you see the file size is one megabyte. And this is what time it is, so this is probably the file we need.
Okay, so as you can see, this is 11,797. Okay, so we'll select all. Oh, what the hell just happened? I don't mind that. Let's try it again. I don't know what I did there. I must have hit the wrong button. Okay, so it was 11,700 something. 11,797. Let's go to select all. Copy. Exit out of here. You want to go back to your Daisy Offline Chinaris. Then here you'll see a folder called Map Group Post. You go in there. Okay, so we'll see. Yeah, this one's. Oh, that's right. I already done it before. So. Basically, you would just take all this stuff in here. You're only going to have 11,400 or 11,500 of a vanilla file. Um, so you just select all that, delete it. We're going to paste in what we just brought from that folder that it created with 11,797. And we're going to hit save. Now, the first thing you want to do before you start your server up again is you want to go back into your init. And you're going to want to comment that line back out because you don't want it to do that every time your server starts. So you comment that back out with two slashes there. Yeah, it's, it turned color, so you know it's turned off. And you'll hit save. Now we will. Actually, one more thing before we even start restart the game. We're going to go ahead and. Actually, I can't because I already have them in that way. So, yeah, we'll just go ahead and restart the server. Uh, we'll hit restart. So, now we should have ATMs at the traders in the position that we put. Well, at least a commie trader. And we should have a bunch of modded areas, I guess you would say, on the airfield. Northeast, and if everything goes right, we should have loot spawning in those custom buildings already. Um, you will not have zombies at any of the the custom buildings. That's a whole different uh, different setup. Uh, still pretty simple to do. Now, if you download a custom area in the workshop, like where this one is coming from the workshop so this was something that somebody else created um, you download the mod you pull that uh, all that coding out you'll put it in your custom locations folder and so forth but sometimes in there they will have zombie spawn locations and you would just put those in your your zombie territories but a lot of times you got to go through and set your own zombies so let's go ahead and try to join the server here on hot dog water play now in theory we should be good to go oh wow it's actually going to load full screen nice Yeah, like I said, you just want to make sure you comment that uh, that part back out <clears throat> that tells it to scan for the loot spawns. You don't want that running all the time. That's a lot of unnecessary stuff that's going on in your server that just doesn't need to be.
Now that process will work for any any custom area that you place. Um, it'll work for any of that, even if you place it with BPP or no matter how you place it. If the game is told to read that there's a building there, it will find it. It will put loot in there. If it's a building that's already in the game, well, you can't just use like a custom house and uh, spawn loot in. Now, as you can see, we got all these custom buildings here now. That was the file that we added. Let's, uh, let's grass cover through. So let's go over here and make sure we got loot in these buildings. Again, you won't see any zombies here because they're not normally here. You got to put them in yourself. Me, I got zombies all around this thing. So yeah, there might be a lot of buildings, but you better have your A game. That's how you add the custom buildings and add loot to your buildings. You can also add uh, these airplanes to spawn loot too. I'm not sure if I have a. I don't think I have a setup on the server, but obviously not. It's the first server, but you can make it to where these planes will spawn in loot. I have these planes as heli crashes too. You'll just find these in random heli crash locations with loot and stuff as well. But let's go back here to the Cummy Trader and make sure our ATMs are in. And down here. Now, you can see this is the yeah, that barrel was too close to the building, but this is the ATM we placed with Zomberry just by placing that barrel and using the coordinates. Um, you have to fiddle with the orientation a little bit to get it straight, but it's pretty close. But remember when we did spawn the barrel and it was kind of underneath the building, so it was a little too, too much. But we'll go ahead and take this ATM out, and then this is the one that they include uh, on their workshop, the coordinates and everything. It's not a bad little location for it. I know there's also one that puts it over in here somewhere. Uh, that's probably that second one that was on the workshop. But yeah, uh, ATMs work. Everything's good. Um, our traders are still working. Banana! Okay, so... I think before we go here, I'm going to show you how to add a vehicle to your trader here. So we'll quit out of this. Pull our server back up. I'm going to go ahead and stop it. Um, go back into our SC trader. Uh, it'd be under, uh, no, not objects, it'd be under config. Okay, so we'll go down here to our vehicles. Here's all your vanilla vehicles for sale. I think what I'm going to do is just borrow this category. Copy. Down here. Control V. And we'll just, uh, I'll just use the... Uh, do the Kawasaki 4x4. I didn't realize my caps was on. I'll just leave it caps. Okay, so. So when you download a mod, it'll give you all the types and all that stuff. Some of them even give you this stuff as well. Sometimes you gotta create this yourself. So I'm just gonna show you how to create it yourself. Um, so basically, I this will be Kawasaki. It'll be in its own category in the trader. You wanna hit V. You want to do a comma after that. You'll want to. V means it'll come with a key. Um, if you're using a key mod like Much Keys or something like that, you want to make all these into a V N K. Oh, sorry, all capital. V N K. 
and that'll say vehicle no key and then you'll be responsible to uh, buy your own key and pair it separately which is how I like to do things because once it's paired to one of these keys you can't use a much stuff key so we'll just make all these VNK we'll come over here and do VNK comma we'll set a price we'll just do 50 grand comma and we sell it for 20 grand all right and that's that now if you have parts for that vehicle you do the same thing down here for parts just do you do category whatever the parts are for and then you would just start listing the parts with prices so pretty simple to do but the main important thing is once you did that you put your vehicle in there you're gonna to want to go over here to trader vehicle parts and you're gonna to want to put the parts for said vehicle in here I have them already ready to go right here copy okay we'll just paste that in now you see with the Kawasaki mule you'll get spark plug battery car radiator two headlights a trunk and four wheels so it should come ready to drive um, it does come full of gas already and the radiator is filled as long as you have a radiator in here so we put the car parts in here we'll hit save okay so now that truck or that vehicle should be in the trader we'll go ahead and start it up and make sure I just want to show you something here I there's many different ways of setting up a trader um, I'm kind of gonna show you my file that I'm using on my trader now to see that there's multiple ways here let's do a new one so this is how I have mine set up <clears throat> basically I have a hunting trader um, this is the position and everything set up just like the other one um, this is where it's telling it to do the trade op option and then here's the the actual NPC it says it's the same as the trade option and then with a person you you could change the clothing that they're wearing or so forth and so on this is the only actual person trader that I have is hunter as you see down here these are all much smaller like I have a casino config um, but I'm using a cash register as my NPC so it doesn't need any clothing it doesn't need anything like that you would just put NPC dummy now you could pretty much use anything. You can sit a can of soda there and make that your trader. As long as you have it labeled here as to what you're using and you have it set as an NPC dummy. And then these are just the coordinates which you placed it. So basically I will go into offline mode. I will place my cash register where I want it. And I would uh, spit out the coordinates and I would just plug the coordinates into here. The orientation is 89. I could even go sh through and, and show you on my server how it is. Um, got my heli trader, vehicle trader. I set my parts separately from my actual vehicle trader, so that's a whole different trader. And then a heli trader. <clears throat> so basically, in my one building, I have three different cash registers. You go up, you can either buy a vehicle from the one register, vehicle parts from another register, or helis from another register. And again, I can show you that here as well. So let's see if the server's running. It is. Let's join it quick and try to buy one of those mules and make sure everything is working. Uh, hot dog water. Uh, Daisy is running. I thought I closed out of that. I guess not. So yeah, it doesn't really matter how that file is laid out um, as long as you have your uh, it, it telling it where it needs to go you don't need to have any of the traders in an order or anything like that as long as you have the number to the config um, yeah it's pretty simple
if you have any questions or anything, just like I said, you can join my Discord, shoot me a message, or just comment on here, and I can help you out anyway. <coughs> I guess we should have deleted that one ATM, but it doesn't really matter. You can also, what I'll show you too before we go is, um, you can also set these ATMs up in your custom locations, just like I have here. Uh, it'll be spawn object, DCM, DC banking, and then the locations. Um, I'll go ahead and add that here in a second to show you. Okay, so we're in, crouched. Let's just go over to Green Mountain and try to buy one of those quick. Green Mountain. I don't know if I have enough uh, inventory space for 50 grand on me, but we'll see. So we're outside of Green Mountain. Trade. Now, as you can see, I got a category here for the Kawasaki 4x4, which is what we typed in. Here's the actual vehicle. 50 grand. Ah, you know what? I don't have that mod on here, so it's not going to show the vehicle. And I won't be able to purchase it because I'm not running that mod. I totally wasn't even thinking about that. But uh, normally, yeah, you would buy that vehicle. You would see a picture here. Note to the wise, if you're on any server and you don't see a picture of said item right here, do not buy it. You're going you're gonna to waste your money. Um, if there's a picture here, like you'll see a picture of the ADA of all these if so if you don't see a picture here on any server do not do not buy it but uh, I'll tell you what we're doing let's just buy one of these vehicles and make sure that things are working so we'll do rubles uh, doing my inventory let's get as much money as we can looks like all we can carry let's just buy an Olga boom there's your Olga and normally it would come with a key, but we set them all to VN, VNK, so you'd have to buy your own key, which you could also buy with him, or if you set it up separately to have a uh, vehicle auto parts guy. But as you can see, it comes full of gas, uh, radiator's full, she's ready to roll. That's basically setting up your trader, and we added the custom location at the airfield. Um, I'm going to go through here one more time and just show you here. Um, say you wanted to do those ATMs the way we did the custom areas. So basically you would come in here, custom locations. You want to create a new. We'll just name them ATM.C. Make sure your caps are off. ATM.C. We'll hit OK. We'll open this up. We'll do void ATM. I'm going to brain for it right now. Boom. And you'd want to put a to open said file. And then below that, you would want to put your ATMs. I'll include these here in the uh, description as well. It, uh, the first one is for Green Mountain, the second one is for uh, Cummy. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll copy these. And we will paste them in here. OK. 
Okay. So you see how this is blue? That's commented out. So it's not going to pick up on any of this as long as you have those dashes prior. So we'll go down here and we'll close this file out because we're only putting the two ATMs for now. So <clears throat> there we'll have up. Well, that's set up for the ATMs doing it the custom locations way. So we'll hit save. Now what you'll have to do is go back to your your uh, init.c and we will copy this line here include copy and we will paste it here and we name that ATM just all lowercase so whatever you have it named in, in your custom locations you have to name it here so atm.c is exactly how we have it laid out in the other one so then we'll come down here, ATM, boom, boom, boom. Now, the ATMs will spawn doing it this way. And the nice thing about that is we'll save it. And the nice thing about that is you can always just come back here and add to it or whatever you wanted to do. You got your ATM C dot here, or ATM dot C right here. And you can see right here and if you ever wanted to add to this or or whatever I mean in all reality you probably could just add this to your your airfield one here if you wanted to and just kind of uh, you just basically go like this you comment it out put ATMs and then you could come down below that and control V oh shit control V Oh, wrong thing. Uh, just come down there. And you would just put ATMs, control V. And it would. Oh shit. What did I just do? And basically it would spawn in that way and then you could keep track of it like this is your ATM just by commenting this out. Um, and you could just keep going all in one file too. Um, me, I like to separate them. So that way I just know what's what. Like say I'm having an issue at the airfield and this building is inside this building a little bit or whatever. I could just come find out what building that is, delete it, and so forth. So you could do it either way. You can set up your own, or you put it right in that one. So really quickly here, let's go back and uh, delete those other two ATMs that we had set up in the trader. That was in the objects. It was all the way at the bottom. Yeah, here's our two ATMs right here. So we're going to go ahead and just take these out, so that way you can see that they're still going to spawn. We'll hit save. We'll restart the server. Wait till that restarts and we'll join back. I'll just show you that the ATMs are going to be there. They might be in different locations. I'm not sure what locations these are. Um, these are just some that I had uh, in my files. I've probably used them in the past. I've had so many servers over the years and different maps and things, so it's hard to keep track of everything. I haven't really ran a Chinara server for quite some time, and we actually just came back to Chinara, so I've been doing modded maps for a while. There's so many cool maps out there. I really like the Deer Isle map, but they make it way too hard to run so I I try to stay away from it I enjoy going to play on one but <clears throat> all right let's see if our servers run in here we'll go join quick it is come on so we'll go to the launcher Looks like I still have that running old hot dog water
<clears throat> now, if you want to create custom traders, you basically do it the same way. Um, you go in offline mode, build your trader, uh, put it into your custom locations file with the .c folder, like we just did there with the ATMs and that other custom area. Um, and then you would need to put locations, like I showed you with my custom one there, of where the trader is going to be standing or your prop or whatever you're using. Um, that'll tell it where the trade location is and also for your safe zone if you're one of the safe zone. Me personally, I have a PVE server, so I don't really make any of my uh, uh, traders a safe zone. Um, I do make my casino a safe zone because people are just hanging out there. They don't have to worry about eating and drinking and all that stuff. Because um, it's just kind of a hangout spot. You play some games, and drink some alcohol and whatnot. I'll show you here in a minute. I'll log into my server and show you what I mean with the, uh, the cash registers and all that good stuff. Um... If you were interested too, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm absolutely not going to do it for free, but I can definitely create you a custom area if needed or a custom trader in a said town that you want or something like that. You would just have to message me. Um, like I said, I'm not going to do it for free. I got my own stuff that I got to constantly work on. So, Okay, so let's see here. Oh, you can see the ATMs there. We deleted the two other ones, so this is a new one. Um... So that's the location that it'll be. Everything works. Let's just go check out the cunny one quick. You can always edit those numbers a little bit too. It'll kind of move the ATM to wherever you want it. Don't have to be there. Now let's go check out down here quick. Okay, I put it right out here in the open, which is not a bad spot. So, that's the two locations of the ATM if you use the files I provide in the description. So, that's that. Um, you got your trader set up. You got your ATMs working. Now, I will tell you this here quickly before we end this. Back here, you go to your file manager, um, your SC. Now, this created a banking folder in your SC here now. So, what you can do is come in here. Now, you can put how much you want your players to start with. Um, if you want them to start with 20,000, just put that there. rest of this stuff you pretty much just leave like it is uh, this is the max amount your bank account will hold which is 10,000 which that's really not going to work because we're starting them with 20,000 so we're just going to make that a million uh, so your bank account can hold a million uh, you're starting with 20 grand it'll create logs which I'll show you the logs that'll be right here's your player base this, uh, this has only been me on the server so you'll see my steam ID here uh, I have zero dollars because I just set it to 20 grand. Um, see, I'll have zero dollars. So now let's say I wanted to, I would just delete this. Now the next time I log into the server, I'll start with the 20 grand like everybody else. Um, you can even go, say you had uh, a person that you found out is cheating. You want to take ten thousand dollars out of their money or you just want to give a player money you could, you could go in there and click on their steam id and just change their amount that they have uh you'll see it'll say owned money um if they own ten million dollars you'll see that and you can just add or subtract from there um right on the fly so which is nice now quickly here before we go i'm going to show you how i have my traders set up life on the edge um, just log in here real quick. I want to show you that you can use anything. 
Now, I'm not doing this to try to advertise my servers or anything like that. Um, I, I do have a pretty good following, but we're two days before the wipe, so a lot of players aren't... Uh, they don't want to waste their time, and I can't blame them. So it's kind of dead at the moment. There's, what, three people on right now. Um, it's usually a lot more than that. Uh, we got a pretty good crew. A lot of older players that work, and they like the PvE environment so that that way they don't log on every time and their base is destroyed and everything that they spent hours on is gone while they're at work one day or something, so... As you can see, I got a custom loading screen there. Like I said, I can make anything for a loading screen, and I'll show you guys how to do that in another video. I also have it set up to play music when you disconnect. Um, I'll show you that as well. Looks like we got another long video here. I'm trying to keep them short, but it seems like every one of them has been an hour so far. But like I said, I don't want to cut anything out. I don't want to edit anything. I just want you to see the progress as it unfolds. Um, I try to break it down, explain it to you the best I can. Uh, hopefully, I'm doing so. Um, not that great at making videos. I'm all pretty new to this stuff, so... But there's one thing I do know how to do is build a server, so uh, using anything, I, I like I said, I run a dedicated now, so, uh, oh man, it's almost dark too. So let's go up here, we'll go to my, um, we'll go to the casino and show you the setup I have up there. Casino here. You can see we got custom games. You can gamble. Uh, you can do all kinds of stuff. Slot machines. This is my ATM here. A little different than what you normally see. Um, I got 96k. 300k is my limit. Uh, so we're restarting soon. So let's just get to it. see as you can see here is my cash register just walk up to it and there's the trade menu uh, you can buy casino chips and I have an alcohol trader here get some Jack Daniels and gamble just need some strippers for this pole here I'll have one more let's just take you down here to the car trader and show you quick right here as you can see here is my car trader got a whole showroom uh, well, I made all this on offline mode just brought it over So basically here you got three cash registers. Uh, the first one is going to sell you vehicles. The military truck, gas, etc. BMWs, that kind of stuff. And your second cash register is going to sell you keys, parts, another car parts, all that kind of stuff. And the third cash register here is going to sell you helis. I do have a lot more helis than this, I just haven't added them in. So yeah, that's pretty much that. And I stuck a ATM here as well. So 
Like I said, the, the possibilities are endless. Um, uh, you can hear my jukebox starting to play. Just plays random music throughout the traders. So, okay, I think I'm gonna end the video there. Um, that was how you add a trader. You added the ATMs. We added some custom areas. We added the loot to the custom areas. Um, any, anything else? Just let me know if you need help with it. Um, so yeah, hope this video helped you guys out. And if it did, then I ask you to just like the video, subscribe. Uh, I'll be putting out more content on how to do certain things um, if there's anything that you need to kind of know right now let me know and I'll try to make a video for it um, with that being said you guys have a good one I uh, will catch you guys later